pages of poetry which is plentitude of pleasure. To sit and carve and craft and create pages and pages of poetry is to seek the surprise sitting squat in your subconscious. Mountains of meaning and multitudinous merriment tower triumphantly truthful and clutching to behold. Most magnificent of their monolithic merits is their talent and tenacity for turning terror, trouble and tribulation from the minds of many readers. Valleys of vividness very welcome your volition with V-shaped arms. Lean lazily in their arms and listen as they lift your languor and listlessness. Play cheerfully on purple plains no longer a pariah. Let laughter light your lips and leaven your linguistic legs as you charge down valleys of viridian to play on pastoral plains. Frolic freely through forests fostered lovingly by faunas, Roman Arcadian and rightful ruler of redwoods and roses alike. Fabulous form fables most fantastic while factotums forge inks and ready writing tools, raring to race across reams of retry. Find fulsome nourishment and food for thought in the forests of poetic flame. Disregard the deserts of despair and doubt the day to delve into their depths. Instead, whistle a silly song before singing yourself softly to sleep. Yes, in those pages and pages of poetry there is pleasure untold. Dip your toes in your dwindling flames and find that they are not doused but decidedly developed and awaiting your pen and personality and the poetry within. You have no idea how many takes that took me. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I am really, really proud of that poem. That's just the first draft. I haven't done any editing. I already kind of know which areas I'd like to improve. You can read the full thing and attempt to read out loud yourself on my live journal, which is in the doobie-doo. And, oh, interesting thing about that poem. It was actually inspired by two things. First of all, probably the one most people will know is... Uh, in V Vendetta, the character V gives a speech and uses all these different V words. Um, the speech is 99% words beginning with V, and that really interested me. I really liked how Alan Moore managed to do something as linguistically smart as that while still actually conveying something that actually makes sense. And secondly, and perhaps my favourite inspiration, is a sequence from an episode of Pinky and the Brain. I will put a link to that video in the doobie doo. I I really, really love it, and I can't believe I was inspired to write poetry by Pinky in the Brain. It's, you know, it's just surprising. <laughs> so, now we come to the time where I set a writing challenge to the lovely Kate. Um, let me think. I, I, I have just recently got this idea, and I would like to have a go at it myself, but let's see what you come up with. The concept is a letter has lain unopened for hundreds of years. Just a letter. In an envelope. No one's looked at it. It's been there for hundreds of years. What does that letter say? Write that letter. That's it. So, uh, Chamber of Secrets video is coming soon. Kate's video will be up on Tuesday. And up until that point, I have been Mr. Montagna. And I do certainly hope that you guys stay groovy.